Hello everyone, this is Hope Seiler and this is my screencasting experiment for EDCT 6012. And the process that I've decided to cover is how to format MLA headings for a paper that you would write in an English composition course such as English 1510 Writing and Rhetoric, which is the course that I teach here at Ohio University. And MLA headings are something that students need to use for every paper that they write in my class. And so usually having a quick tutorial about what settings in Word are necessary to do that properly um, is something that I try to do pretty early in the semester. And so when you open Word, um, this is how it will look. These are the settings that it automatically gives you. And so the first thing that you want to change is to come up here and change the font to Times New Roman and make sure that it's 12 point font. Also you want to make sure that your lines are double spaced and so in the paragraph section here this icon has a drop down menu so if you click into that you can see some settings in here and under the line spacing you'll see right now it says multiple so we want to change that to double and you can either click OK to apply double spacing to this document alone or you can set it as your default so that every Word document that you use will have double spacing. So I do recommend that my students do that. So after you've got those settings, the first line of your MLA heading should be the student's name. The next line should be the instructor's name. So in English 1510, that would be my name. The next line would be the course code. And the final line would be the date. And in MLA, we start with the day and then the month. And you do type out the full month, no abbreviations. And then finally, the year. After you have those headings, you'll want to move your cursor to the center and type the title of the essay. And something that a lot of students do that is not correct is that they will try to bold or underline or emphasize the title in some way, but that is actually not an MLA convention. And so that is something I tried to caution my students um, not to do. And so after you have your headings set up in this way, you can align your cursor back to the left, indent, and start writing. Okay, and the last requirement for the MLA headings is a page number. And so if you come up to the top and click over into the insert section, you'll see in the header and footer section, we have a page number option. And the drop down menu lets you put the page number in a lot of different places and so we want to choose the top of the page and you'll see there are even various positions under this option and so we want to go to option number three which will align the page number in this top right corner okay and this highlighted number is a code that once we get onto the next page will change to two, three, four, and so on. And so we don't want to delete that code, but we do want to type the student's last name before the page number. So that way on the next page, it will say last name two, last name three. And something else that I tell my students to keep in mind is that their font settings don't apply up here to the header. So we do need to highlight and once again set the font setting to Times New Roman and 12 point font. And so that is how to correctly set up the MLA formatting in a Word document and start an essay. So thank you all for watching and I look forward to seeing your projects.